Alright, little protein makers. Let's see if he'll got any eggs for the day. Just one. Luckily I've collected about 35 eggs in the last week, so we're good to go. Just cranked up the truck and we're going bass dangling, y'all. I've got to go fish this lake that is shutting down at the end of the month. Like this is really the last chance to go fish it. It's a lake called Lake Fairfield. I've done about half a dozen videos out there and it's got a state park on it. It's a great little lake to go fish, but sadly it has been, the land has been bought around it. The state leased it and now it's going to be owned by somebody. And this is, anyway, this is the last chance to go fish it. I've got to go do it. We're going to try to find a place to sleep tonight with the truck. Just, just re-rigged the camper to be fully ready to party in the woods. And uh, now we're going to be sleeping in the truck bed. Can't take both at the same time, unfortunately. But let's go roll out. Let's see if this lake is uh, still got some bass in it and bid it a farewell. On the road, y'all, it is about noon and it's 82 degrees outside in February. Cannot believe how warm it is. This is a grass lake we're going to. Hopefully it's got grass in it. And warm weather and grass equals bass. I just pulled over to get some gas. And while I was there, I was coming outside and I noticed a police officer next to my, my boat. He was getting gas. I was like, oh gosh, am I doing anything wrong? Goodness. And I walked outside and he said, LFG. I was like, oh, whew. Anyway, he had his bike parked next to the silver bullet. And then I realized the silver bullet, there's something different about it this year. It looks so good, juicy. And he had that bike parked next to it. And that's exactly what the silver bullet looks like. It looks like a polished up Harley police bike. You could put some cherries and berries on that sucker and put to protect and serve, and that is a, an officer boat. You probably chase down a lot of wave runners in that thing. But we're here to bust bass today. Put them in hook cuffs. Send them into the box. No, we're not gonna put them in the box. We're gonna take some pictures and videos with them and release them back into this lake that, well, will no longer be open to the public. Alrighty, y'all. We are legal. Just renewed my annual park pass. And uh, we got a spot for two days. I don't know if the fishing's gonna be worthy of that, but we're gonna try it. Got my campsite. And this is probably gonna be the last time I ever come here. Yeah, buddy. Found my camping spot. We're at the boat ramp, which I've never launched at this boat ramp before. Usually use another one. Boat ramp's full. How could it not be? 85 degrees, it's hot. I'm gonna grab a long sleeve shirt. I'm gonna jump in here. We're gonna fish all day and head to our camp spot, campsite tonight. Already went and checked it out. Looks pretty good. This sucks, because I just discovered there's a whole bunch of camping I never knew out here. There's lots of trails. Um, it's a pretty unique little deal. Very windy, but we don't have a huge lake to uh, contend with a bunch of waves, and I'm kind of looking forward to it, quite honestly. A little wind, get those moving baits going in that grass. Hopefully they got grass. We're about to find out in just a second. Oh yeah, we got grass. Raptors. Up we go. Oh yeah, there's cooch running around everywhere. There's grass. I mean, I mean, daggone. It, it's getting about water temperatures for plastics. Start dragging them slow. Ooh. All right. Hey, I'm committed. I got a couple days out here. I want to enjoy this park before it closes down. So maybe I'll discover something new, catch a big fish on this trip. Either way, we're going to enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks for being with me. So I've come up to the farthest middle of a pocket, if that makes sense. It's, a, it's actually a big creek arm. 
and I went just until I started seeing the grass line. There's some grass and the water there, you can see. And this is this is your friend this time of year. This guy. God, it's gonna be windy, I apologize. I'm using braid and a reaction rod, which is pretty much perfect for this type of grass, ripping it out. This isn't crazy thick grass. That braid, you just have so much connectivity, you can really bust through those little bits of grass if you need to. Water temp has dropped down. 57. fish right there very jerk baitable try to follow it for a second Let's see if we can get bit Head right now. Fish is looking at my jerk bait. He's right under it. Oh god, just at the last second. She ducked down. Oh wait, 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 she's coming back up. Oh, she ducked down again. That's a big fish, too. There we go. There's one of them little ones. I knew it was going to happen if I threw up there on the bank. Ah, I kind of took a break from the scope for a second just to cast to the bank. And uh, a little male, as expected, was up there. Got him on that scout clobbered it but what's happening here is we've got little males starting to move up on the bank i want i want her i want these floaters that are hanging out here i have had three big ones follow it i have one on on the jerk bait and i mean you can just literally see what's going on this water's almost 58 the little little males are starting to come up to the bank and big fiends are just hanging out waiting. They're waiting for that water temperature to warm up to about 61, 62. And they're gonna come join them up there, but uh, I don't know guys. Normally, how I like to fish is I'll, I will fish the bank a lot this time of year. And rip different kinds of moving baits. And I love jerk baits. You can get a big fish, you know, shallow. Um, and then you can just also turn around and throw it on some timber but I am captivated right now of the amount of good sized fish that I'm seeing that are sort of predictable on this timber these timber areas there's like inside timber and outside inside timber this stuff close to the bank and then 
we've got an outside timber line that you can't see really. You can see it on the live scope, but it's where those big ones are hanging. They're hanging in like 10 foot, this is six foot up here. Oh my god, it's a gar. I am an idiot. Well, okay. That is the roundest looking gar I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, I feel stupid right now. There's no way that all these big ones are sitting on these trees are gar. Okay, well I am good at catching gar floaters, I'll tell you what. Look at that, that gun. Holy cow. Throw a big glide out there and that's what you get. Well, finally discovered what those things are. They're gar. Oh gosh. And I, I know two other bites that I had to, they had to be gar. Cause it was weird. It was like a bump and a bass would be like a thud. And quite honestly, y'all, I thought I knew what gar looked like on the live scope. Cause they're normally long, like a hot dog there. But I'm not Josh Jones. I don't, I don't know what things are. Obviously I just, it looks big and I'm gonna cast at it. This is actually two days in a row this has happened to me. I wanted to come to this lake because it's my last chance to be able to fish it, but but also I was out just yesterday and I was seeing all these floating fish off of these points and I was like, this is it's gotta be too many to be bass, but I'm just gonna see. These are either like all five pound bass or something else is going on. Threw a crappie jig out there and uh, this is what I caught. Boat blank to my right. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? This is a bass. I'm gonna flip, flip my grill. Holy, holy spittoons. I break out a tiny swim bait. Oh my god. This feels nothing like a bass. Feels. Oh, it feels so weird. Oh, I got the leader. Here's the leader. It is. It's a floating buffalo that I hooked in the stomach. It, that's what these are. They're schools of buffalo carp. Big gooey carp. So these carp and these gar that a lot of times float, float around. And, and the carp, you know, they usually like to live on the bottom buffalo and, and common carp and whatnot. But... When that water warms up, all fish like to suspend and get warmed up a little bit. That's been, they've been freezing their, their little tails off all winter. So it's nice to come up in the water column and, and warm up. And for predator species, that allows them to get their muscles warmed up and feed a little better, sort of like a, a snake would. But obviously you don't want to get bogged down in chasing fish that, that aren't you know the fish that you want to go after and I think that's what I'm doing so I should have just stuck to my grass plan but I thought maybe this is the year that I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get dialed in on my scope and, and just target big fish I don't think that's me y'all I, I like to get a sense for things with the scope and like okay there's some fish moving around right here in this depth um, but unless it's crappie I, I don't like to just sit there and target them and I'm pretty sure I just saw a guy catch like an 8 to 10 pounder uh, throwing a lipless crankbait. I heard a in the air. It was like 100 yards from me. I heard it. And I saw like a whale being netted. And they always look smaller from far away. So I'm sure it was huge. 
Anyway, congrats to that guy. I yelled for him because he did not. Gave him a, gave him a big whoop and uh, said, hey, nice fish, man. All right, it is going to be a windy son of a gun for the rest of this trip, it's looking like. But I have literally been out here the entire time on this flat chasing fish. Um, I think I'm going to move around a little bit or at least switch up the targeting things with the live scope and just get out the wind and grind. I did have a couple of bites doing that already, so let's get back to the meat and potatoes. All right, oh, we got a windy bank. This water is really dingy right here, not a good color. Or the jerk bait. A lot of stumps, but it is a good color for throwing a vibe jig or a spinner bait or the lip less. I went against against my instincts having some fun with the scope and figured out that I pretty much suck at it. I've been impressed with the castability on the the reel so far y'all. The green series doesn't have the dual braking but it still casts very well for just being magnetic. Definitely prefer the gold for casting but is ripping with the wind at my back. There we go. That's the sound I heard about 100 yards away from me on a big one. Pretty decent fish, just right up in it. Oh, goodness, you want to get away. You're about to, you're barely hooked. Good fish. Okay, I knew there'd be one. Oh, 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 Come here. Oh man, you are hooked three ways to Sunday. I'm just gonna gill you. Here we go. It'll gill grab. That one clocked it. A little farther up there than I was anticipating. All right, we'll let that fish go. Look at that! Look at that purdiness. That's just purdy. That's purdy. See ya. Good chunky fish. And that is our new flaming hot red. It's new for this year. It's good. Good in this dingier water for sure. I think cash craw is probably my favorite. It's like a clear red. This right here will do it. A little dingier stuff.
micro point. Oh goodness. Oh, that one feels good. Let back off on that one a little bit. Oh yeah. If I, I've either got it hooked weird or it's got some shoulders. good fish moving up here in the shallows look at that chunk wad that's just a perfect fish that fish is three and a half pounds maybe 18 inches <sighs> should have stuck with it should have done my deal wine and grind had to get cute Sure, go ahead. I, I know, it's only going to get worse. I'm just trying to let the sun go down enough. I ain't got to stare at it. <laughs> Do what? They do exist. <clears throat> My last three bites have been pretty close. Pretty close up there. Yeah. Like probably five to ten foot off. I hadn't either. I just, just pulled up here. I've been fishing mostly off off the bank that one absolutely choked it i mean it is amazing amazing to me you're just ripping that thing so fast and then a fish like that will just thrash it suck it down the pipe and he piped it there we go there there she goes those are nice fish. Those are real nice fish. I will catch those all day. And I hope I do tomorrow. So that is pretty much about three. Well, yeah, the last three little points that I came across. I threw up there pretty shallow. And those fish bit it, you know. Like I just told that guy, five to ten foot off, which is uh, complete opposite of what I was fishing earlier. But the spot's just got a little more depth to it. Look at that guy right there. So cool. Big rat. That's amazing. You know, just got three bites. That steep side, shallow side, big flat, just nothing doing. I'm sure, there's a couple of fish running around up in here. Nice thing about staying at the state park is I can pretty much fish till dark. I just go right to my little spot. bust on over there's a little micro point over here fish it and then we'll head on in all right y'all i'm glad we could 
catch a few chunks to end the day. This lake has just got some nice fish in it, and I'm excited about tomorrow. Figuring out that little little grass thing there at the end, that was nice. It's kind of what I started on, but then I got away from. Got lost in the scope, man. Got scope neck. My neck's all creaking. I've been looking at that scope too much. Where I'm at right now is the state park camping area, which I've never camped at. I've always just been to the boat ramp and it is a nice park. This is just a shame that this is going away. These slabs that they put in here, you know, you can fit truck and boat, perfect for truck camping. I mean, these are new. These are within the last couple of years. Uh, just met the, the park attendant, the camp attendant, super nice guy nice facilities and everything we were talking about the the lake you know shutting down and he's actually going to be out here till till may or june and just kind of watch over it i guess but he told me that there is a chance a little loophole on this deal with the bald eagles uh i've seen some bald eagles around here and <laughs> they're federally protected obviously so i don't think you can just go cutting trees down with bald eagles nests I don't know. I could be wrong. And I'm not blaming the developer for this place. I mean, they got an opportunity to be a Sweet Lake community. Um, but it's just sad. It's sad. Um, and if I catch a big bass tomorrow, I'm going to be like really, really sad. But anyway, I got the, the grill here. We're doing truck camping. Um, I got power. I got shore power, so I'm charging the batteries right now for the boat. I've been using my uh, the lithium charger. I got a separate lithium charger that charges that battery up pretty quick. And tomorrow we're really going to test the limits of how how long that 36 volt is going to last that one single battery. But I went to Bucky's. I got me some sausage, and I think I'm going to cook me up a little meal right here, and hopefully not attract too many bugs because. I don't want them sleeping with me tonight, but I was going to get a lighter at Bucky's. I was like, I can't remember if I got my lighter or not, and I don't. So, uh, I always carry this in my truck, and I'm hoping it's going to light the burners here. I don't know. We're about to cut the gas on and see if this is going to work, so. Oh, boy. If it doesn't, we're eating uh, cold oatmeal for dinner. Fuel here. There's the gas. Oh, first shot. Always gotta carry the old the old trusty. You can do a lot with a camp knife. Now we got fire. We're gonna cook some sausage. There's something magical about a three cheese wiener sizzling in the moonlight, isn't there? So I'm gonna try tomorrow to get some fish that are in that four or five pound class. Uh, had one that's you know three and a half today, and I think those are still males, even though they're real fat. Uh, I am gonna go back to some of those areas. Uh, or just this, that depth in general where I was marking bigger fish and try to get some on that jerk bait. It's a really good technique for this time of year. Jerk bait or the swim bait where you just see them hanging around that timber or just loners, floaters, throw out there and, and try to target those fish. You know, being in the boat with guys like Zaldane and Dustin Connell and watching them operate, uh, that's a lot of the wintertime, early spring fishing is just going down the bank, not even looking like at the contours, really, which is how I always, I've learned, you know, like growing up, reading Bassmaster Magazine and watching guys on TV, it's like reading those little contour lines and kind of looking at the Navionics. There's some fish that just hang out on banks, like slick banks that are, that are big that are just hovering and just cruising around. Sleeping arrangement for tonight, I can't decide if I want to sleep in the truck or if I want to break the hammock out. We've got enough trees out here I can hammock sleep, but it's really not gonna be cold. So the hammock might actually be better. I don't know. There's a little more protection 
uh, in the truck, you know what I mean? You like feel more comfortable, but like I said, this is a nice park. I don't feel like anybody would shank me in my hammock, so feel pretty good about it. Getting cheesy, smoky wieners. We're gonna plate it up, go enjoy it inside the truck, and uh, that's gonna be the end of it. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna be out here a couple of more days. Hopefully tomorrow we get some bigs, but there's some chunks out here. Really, really nice place to fish and camp. Dad gun it. Hundred and ten million dollars. One of y'all buy it. Somebody out there buy it. Let's just let's have a fishing camp out here. Can we make it just a big fishing camp? Somebody. Anyway, if you're out there, drop a comment down below. Let's make it happen. Thank y'all for hanging with me on the water and at camp and we're gonna get back after it in the morning bright and early so i will see you then fish is gonna eat it that fish ate it oh my god it's a big bass oh it's a big one too oh my gosh it's a big one